Welcome back to Franchise Football and a date in Levi Stadium to square off against the San Francisco 49ers. Welcome back to the Atlanta Falcons franchise. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat. Today we get to see the NFL's number one passing attack in action. Atlanta has the number 19 passing defense, but they also have the number four passing offense. That may be a little misleading, however, since the Falcons have lost Matt Ryan with some broken ribs suffered in last week's loss to the Panthers. In that game, Josh Rosen came into the game in relief of Ryan. He'll be calling the signals this week as well, but can he overcome the loss he suffered last week and keep the passing game going? Or will Atlanta have to depend on the rushing game behind Cordero Patterson and Bryce Love? If Rosen can't be effective in the passing game, the 49ers have the number four rushing defense, and that may prove to be a detriment to the Falcons' efforts. Who has the better game plan, and who will come out on top? Let's find out as we take you to the action here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Braxton Berrios is back deep for the Falcons, and Robbie Gold gets us underway here in Santa Clara. And Berrios takes a knee in the end zone, and that brings it out to the 25. Rosen under center, takes the snap, and a play action pass, and it's overthrown. If that would have been on target, Ridley probably could have gone the entire distance. This pass complete to Pitts but well short of the first down and the Falcons will have to punt. Now Garoppolo out of the shotgun, gives off to Elijah Mitchell and he finds an opening and the rookie is gone. Oh man, he's tackled by A.J. Terrell, but not until he rips off a 50 yard gain. So now from the 21 yard line, Garoppolo throws, and it's almost intercepted. Fabian Moreau getting his hands on it. Out of the shotgun again, another pass, same area, and it's intercepted this time. Moreau taking it back outside the 35, and that brings to an end a very fast start by the 49er offense. A little unorthodox from uh, from our vantage point. A 50-yard run to start the game was definitely not anticipated. So from the 38, Rosen back to pass, throws complete over the middle. Hayden Hurst picks up nine. So second and inches. Out of the shotgun, Rosen hands off to Patterson, fights his way to midfield, and a first down for the Falcons. Now under center, Rosen, a play action pass again, all alone in the backfield, throws a floater and gets caught. Russell Gage catches that on the left boundary and out of bounds inside the 20 after a holding penalty. Pass is thrown, oh, and Geronimo Allison just can't hang on. So back to pass again. That one is overthrown, intended for Gage, and that brings up fourth down. Young Leku in for the 43 yarder, and it's through, and the Falcons lead three to nothing. Second and 10 for the 49ers now. Garoppolo pass over the middle, complete to George Kittle, and a first down to the 36. Now after an offside penalty, it's first and five. Pitch back to Mostert, and he is caught in the backfield. Dron Harmon getting in there for a two-yard loss. And Garoppolo out of the shotgun throws over the middle, complete. Debo Samuel with the first down inside Falcon territory at the 42-yard line. 
Now Garoppolo under center. Takes the snap, hands off. Mostert finds a hole and powers his way to the first down. They're not going to quite give it to him. Second and inches inside the 35. And he finds a gaping hole. And down to the 21-yard line. Samuel is injured on the play and being escorted to the locker room. That could be huge for the 49er passing attack. Mostert taking it outside to the left and getting down to the 15. A six yard gain on the play. George Kittle on the sideline being attended to and I'm sure he's gonna be okay. Garoppolo throws complete to Muhammad Sanu for a first down. And now after a false start, it's third and five. The pass over the middle to Charlie Warner is knocked out. Eric Harris is the one with the hit that knocks the ball out. And Robbie Gold comes on for a three-pointer and it's good. Tying this ball game up at three. Rosen back to pass, throws short and out of bounds goes Patterson. Now out of the shotgun. Back to pass again, the other side to Patterson. He gets the first down and out of bounds outside the 40 yard line. The Falcons with a nice start to this drive. Now after a false start, all alone in the backfield, Rosen throws underneath to Pitts and he gets close to the first down, but a yard short, so it's third and one. Up the middle goes Bryce Love, a big gainer to inside the 40 yard line and a first down for the Falcons. The 49ers on their heels a little bit right now and it's taken up the middle by Patterson for another nice gain. And that's the end of the first quarter with your score tied at three apiece. Rosen back to pass, throws short to Patterson. He has the first down inside the 25 yard line at the 22. Another run by Patterson up the middle for a four yard gain. Now the ball resting at the 18. Rosen throws this one complete to Gage on the right side and out of bounds, but he gets the first down. Rosen throws short out of the backfield to Patterson and he takes it inside the five from the four yard line. Rosen drops back and is sacked. Nick Bosa gets to him back at the 15 for an 11 yard sack. Now to the shotgun, Rosen throws and that is complete and out of bounds inside the 10, but it's still fourth and seven. And that brings on Young Wei Ku for a 26 yard field goal and it's up and good giving the Falcons a three point lead. Now Garoppolo alone in the backfield on third and 10. The pass complete over the middle. Charlie Werner takes it for the first down out past the 35 to the 38. Now Mostert with that quick burst up the middle tackled at the 45. A seven yard gain, second and three, and a first down reception by Richie James Jr. inside Falcon territory. First and 10, and Garoppolo is sacked. Dante Fowler Jr. with his fifth sack of the season. And now it's second and 23. Garoppolo throws and it's caught, but out of bounds 
at the 45 is Juwan Jennings. Now out of the shotgun, Garoppolo throws short, and that one does not make the first down. James is stopped immediately by Kendall Sheffield. So after the punt, the Falcons have it at their own 13-yard line. Rosen over the middle, complete to Pitts, out at the 28-yard line for first down. His third reception of the afternoon. Javon Kinlaw jumps, gets back on side. The handoff given to Patterson up the middle for a tough four yards. On second and six. The handoff again is to Patterson outside to the right side numbers. First down just inside the 40. Play action pass and down goes Rosen. Sacked for a 10 yard loss by Samson Ebukam. Now Rosen all alone in the backfield. Throws out of bounds. And that brings up fourth down. The Falcons have to punt the ball. From the 31 yard line. Garoppolo drops back to pass. Let's it fly. And connects with Brandon Ayuk. And that is a first down and brings us to the two minute warning. Second and 10 from the 43. The pass complete to Elijah Mitchell and he is to the 48. Third and five. Garoppolo back and is dropped again by Dante Fowler. So with under a minute 20, can the Falcons do anything? And this is complete to Pitts at the 35 yard line. Second and 10. Rosen back to pass. And he keeps going back in his finally sack at the 20 yard line. Third and 24. Patterson takes it up the middle. A timeout by the 49ers, but that's how the first half ends. A six to three score in favor of the Falcons. Now let's go to Eurocat Baby for a halftime report. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the Falcons and 49ers in a moment. Something that's sure to further impact the sputtering San Francisco passing game is that their number one wide receiver, Debo Samuel, has suffered a strained elbow and is being held out for the remainder of this game. That means that fourth year backup, Richie James Jr. will be getting some more action in the wide out rotation. In the Falcons camp, it should be noted that since the injury to Matt Ryan, obviously Josh Rosen has taken control of the offense. But Atlanta has signed former Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco to be his backup. All Atlanta can hope for is that they don't have to use him in today's game since he hasn't had but a couple of days to learn the Falcons' offensive scheme. In last week's loss to the Panthers, Rosen was unable to get the ball in the end zone, and today it hasn't been any different so far. Unless he can turn his gameplay around, according to the Atlanta front office, Flacco may be called into the game. Stay tuned to find out if that happens, because we'll be right back with the second half. Welcome back to Levi Stadium, everyone. For all the hype about both teams' passing attack, we're seeing quite the defensive game. The Falcons' running game is almost non-existent, and the 49ers' passing attack has been all but stopped not even gaining 60 yards in the first half. What adjustments have been made here at the break? Let's find out. From the 21, Garoppolo in the shotgun, hands it off, Mitchell to the left side and stopped by Sheffield and Grant. A four yard loss bringing up second and 14. Out of the shotgun again. Garoppolo throws over the middle to a wide open. George Kittle tackled at about the 29. 
We're going to give him good progress to the 30, and he's on third and one. Mostert picks up the first down. An 11 yard carry after first contact. Now the ball sitting at about the 46. Garoppolo throws short. Mitchell is out of bounds just shy of the first down marker. And they are going to go for it. Garoppolo back to pass and it's knocked down. Kendall Sheffield jumping up to knock it away from James. So from the 49, second and eight. The ball given to Patterson and he powers his way to the 45 yard line of the 49ers, third and four. The pass over the middle is incomplete, a flag on the play and it's roughing the passer against the 49ers, Javon Kinlaw, the guilty party and that gives the Falcons a first down at the 30. Pass to Patterson out of the backfield and it is short three yard pickup and now on a third and six. The pass to Pitts over the middle and he does not make the sticks. He inches to go and the question is whether they will go for it or not. Nope, they're going to go for a field goal. A 38 yard kick and Koo is good from that distance. That means your score is now nine to three and the 49ers have some work cut out for him. Garoppolo is sacked again and who else but Dante Fowler, his third of the afternoon. The pass this time intercepted Eric Harris all the way back to the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. A 17-yard pick six. And the Falcons take the lead 15-3. to three. Garoppolo trying to get it short to Mitchell and just overthrew that pass. And there was Eric Harris just waiting for that and took it the distance to the house. The Falcons going for two. Give it off to Patterson and he is stopped. In midair, Jimmy Ward met him in the hole and stopped that two point conversion. Now after a 49er three and out. Pass this time. That play action pass worked. Ridley caught it, and it's a first down for the Falcons. Now from the 48 on second and eight. Back to pass. Rosen throws complete to Pitts, and he has the first down, taking it to the 43. With a minute left to go in the third quarter. The pass complete. Over the middle to Pitts again for a seven yard pickup. Third and three. Rosen throws and it's intercepted. Dre Greenlaw jumps in front for the interception and stops quite possibly. That could have been another scoring run by the Falcons. But as it stands, it's the end of the third quarter with your score 15 to three, Falcons. And the 49ers still have a lot of work to do. Garoppolo back to pass and he is tackled again for another sack by Dante Fowler, his fourth of the game. Out of the shotgun, third and 20. The pass is knocked away. Garoppolo threw the long ball and Sanu was there, but so was Terrell. Now Rosen throws to a wide open Calvin Ridley 
past the 40 yard line and a first down. Out of the eye. Patterson takes it ahead and gets to the 47. Now the 48, they're gonna mark it, second and five. Patterson gets stopped. And Jason Verrett is down for the 49ers. On the sideline, looks to be okay. I'm sure they didn't want to lose him. Rosen alone in the backfield. Third and five. The throw is complete to Ridley, but short of the first down. So the 49ers from their own 10-yard line complete. Richie James for the first down out past the 25-yard line. His third reception on the game. And Garoppolo out of the shotgun. Hands it off to Mitchell. And Mitchell picks up four yards. Uh-oh. Fabian Moreau is down, being escorted to the locker room. And that's not good news for the Falcons. The 49ers have it again after a Falcon three and out. Garoppolo back to pass and is sacked. This time getting home is Steven Means. So now on second and 20. The long ball is caught. Ayuk with the grab, but not enough for the first down. And that brings up third and three. Ayuk again with the first down, this time inside Falcon territory at the 43. Now on third and 12. Back, Garoppolo unloads and hits Mitchell short. And he takes it to the 33 and a first down for the 49ers. Garoppolo back to pass, throws across the middle, has an open man, James with the grab and inside the 15. And Kaminsky is down, but he's on the sideline for the Falcons. And that is definitely good news. Garoppolo back to pass, completes this one over the middle to Sanu. And he's inside the five. For a second and goal from the four yard line. A play action pass. Garoppolo can't get rid of it. And who has another sack but Dante Fowler? That makes five in this game. Now on third and goal from the 14. Uh, run up the middle, Mostert is inside the 10. And one would only think that they have to go for it. Yes, they are. Garoppolo out of the shotgun, throws into the end zone, touchdown, Jawan Jennings. If you take a look on the replay, you can see that this play was just absolutely perfectly blocked. Jennings made an outstanding play in the end zone. That brings the 49ers within five points of the Falcons. And from the 25 yard line, the pass over the middle complete. Gage with the reception out to the 46. Second and nine. Patterson takes it up the middle and is stopped at midfield. Third and six. Rosen alone in the backfield. Throws short and out of bounds at the 46 yard line. That brings up fourth and two. Falcons punt it away and it's dropped inside the 10 yard line. And with an injury update, let's go to Eurocat Baby. I have an update on the injury to Falcons cornerback Fabian Moreau. Seems that he suffered a mild concussion. Hence, we won't be seeing him on the field for the rest of the game, and it has to be determined whether he'll be cleared for next week's game with the Lions. At this point, 
we'd be thinking that Kendall Sheffield would be coming in the game to back him up. But instead, the Falcons have plugged in fourth-year cornerback Isaiah Oliver, who's been bumped up the depth chart in the past couple of weeks. I know that getting Moreau back as quick as possible is going to be the goal here because the Falcons cannot deal without his experience at that cornerback position. I have a feeling that things are going to be left up to the passing game because the running game behind Bo Raheem Mostert is not getting the job done. From the seven yard line, Garoppolo throws short and that is complete to George Kittle, bringing us to the two minute warning. That last play was only a one yard gain. So here on third and nine, the pass play is incomplete. Fourth and nine. The pass is intercepted. AJ Terrell with a game saving grab. Just inside two minutes to go. And that should pretty much put a lid on this game. With a victory formation dropped to a knee, that is it. 15 to 10. The Falcons come into Santa Clara and they upset the 49ers with the number one passing game in the league. What an outstanding defensive effort in this game. The Falcons with a pick six by Eric Harris and an interception by A.J. Terrell with less than two minutes on the clock sealed the victory for the Falcons. The offenses did just enough to put a little over 500 yards combined on the stat sheet, but it was the defenses that took over this game. I was a little concerned that with just over two minutes left in the game, San Francisco got the ball back. And even though they were inside their own 10, it was a 49er passing attack. If that last pass by Garoppolo would have been just a tad higher, Jawan Jennings was waiting and had a free pass all the way to the end zone. It was plain to see that Josh Rosen, while able to get the ball down the field, didn't have the ability to push it in the end zone. One has to wonder if we could see Joe Flacco in next week's game. Free safety Eric Harris is playing some outstanding football. Today with a pick six and in on 10 total tackles, I just wish he wasn't 31 years old or he could have a really good career ahead of him. His contract is set for renewal at the end of this season, so who knows if the Falcons will even re-sign him due to his age. The cornerback Kendall Sheffield turned in a nice performance after Fabian Moreau got injured, so maybe Atlanta will be thinking twice about Isaiah Oliver being ahead of him in the depth chart. Dante Fowler Jr., one sack short of tying the franchise record set by Adrian Claiborne back in 2017. Hats off to the big guy for getting to Garoppolo five times in this game. A total of nine sacks in the entire game, so... <laughs> What a feat to have been in on over half of those. Can Fowler repeat that performance against Atlanta's next opponent? The Falcons welcome the Detroit Lions to Atlanta, so this will prove to be a grudge match for one Grady Jarrett. Remember, he had a very hefty contract that Coach Gill saw the need to trade away if possible, and the Lions wanted his experience in the D-line. They are missing left end Olivier Vernon, so that talent will be needed if the Lions hope to put any pressure at all on Rosen. The Falcons will have to be very careful, though, if they let Detroit into the red zone because they seem to be very proficient when they get that far down the field. 
That's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Defensively, Atlanta played a very complete game today. The offense, not so much. If they're going to stay in the hunt for a playoff berth, some answers will have to be found on that side of the ball. Will that happen, or will the defense have to come to the rescue again? Join us to find out when the Lions are let loose in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.